Welcome back to a faster PC radio. I know you've been waiting well a whole few minutes for the next segment of today's show. If you've been waiting to give us a call so that you can get your computer question answered, well, now's a great time to give us a call. Give us a call. The number here at the studio is 772-340-1590. 772-340-1590. Of course, if you're a little bit shy, maybe you don't want to call and be on the radio. This is your opportunity, by the way, if you do want to be on the radio. But if you're a little bit shy, maybe you don't want to be on the radio. You don't want people to hear what you say. Then you can actually head over to our Facebook video. It's a live Facebook video going on right now. You can head over there. Just go to www.afasterpc.com. Click on the link to listen to a faster PC radio. That'll take you to our Facebook page. Or you can go to Facebook, search for a faster PC. You'll find our page. We have between 22 and 23,000 likes. You'll be able to actually get over there. Scroll down on the page a little bit. You'll see the live video. And you can type your question into the comment section. Now, your question doesn't have to be on what we've been talking about. It can be on any topic as long as it's computer related. So head over there and you can be on the show or just give us a call, 772-340-1590. We did also want to remind you that we have technicians standing by ready to resolve computer problems. Our, our uh, number in the shop is 772-878-5978. And we are located at 7190 South US 1 in Port St. Lucie. Again, the number is 772-878-5978. Computer problems? Com you need a faster PC. Yes, you do. Yes, and we are back to our number in the studio to be a part of the show, 772-340-1590, 772-340-1590. We do have the live videos going right now over on Facebook and YouTube. You can head over there. You can hear the show. You can you can see the show. We we've been out out here um, helping to resolve computer problems, helping helping customers with with issues. One of the things that that we have seen again is is we have seen um, some issues where you know with the power with the storms last week. Um, you know we did have have a system that went down. The motherboard was bad. We needed to to actually, um, uh, you know, we were able to get their data and, and get them back back up and running. Uh, this is for a church, actually. This was for a church, and they actually um, had another computer. They actually brought us a hard drive uh, from the pastor that had sermons on it that where the drive uh, failed. And uh, we haven't yet been able to retrieve data off of that. We're not sure whether we are able to retrieve data off of that and you know over the last I mean this is something that we do on a regular basis where we actually have situations where what we what we do is we actually look and we see whether whether um, um, what wh whether whether we're able to get to 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 connections and and um, whether whether we're able to retrieve data one of the things that we that we can do is, um, you know, in a lot of cases, we are able to retrieve data, even when, even when the uh, things go bad. Uh, in in many cases, we're able to retrieve data from drives that are failing, but not always. And sometimes there are situations where we can't retrieve the data, and in that case you hope that there's a good backup. Unfortunately, many times there's not a good backup. Many times what actually happens is people say, I was just about to make a backup. And that's really not the best words to hear when you say, hey, I was, I'm just about to make a backup. Uh, you know, I was just about to do it. Well, just about is is you know i mean you know in in hand grenades close counts um in horseshoes close counts just about when it, you're talking about backing up your hard drive the data that's important to you 
It, it doesn't do you any good. Um, we've had cut situations where customers have, you know, we've created a backup system for them that was dependent on them making the backup. And we showed them how to do it. And, and then, but what, what actually happened uh, with, with the system is um, um, we're, we're actually having, having system where we show the people how to, how to make, make a, a connection. We show the, show the people, you know, how to, how to actually get in there. And, and we actually um, show them how to make the backup and show them how to do it. And we make the backup. And we've had situations where, where they've actually had, had problems where they're, they, they just, um, you know, th their drive failed. And we go to, go to get to the backup. And lo and behold, we can't get to the backup. We can't retrieve anything. So, so this is something that, that definitely, um, you know, we want to, to have a situation where, where um, really the best situation is where your data is backed up and you don't have to, to do anything to get your data. You don't have to have any issues. You know, the, the, the data just, you're able to access it. So, so this, is, this is something that, that what, we're, what we're actually looking at here is uh, we do have now uh, data solutions. Um, or, or solutions where, where we can actually, where we can actually um, back up your data to a local device and to the cloud. And we can actually set this up where it happens without your intervention. So you, you're not dependent on clicking a button, on doing something, on trying to get the backup to run, plugging in the backup drive, changing the backup uh, drives, swapping them out, making sure that things are, things are working there. It's, it's just, it's going to work. Um, you know, whatever, whatever it is, it's going to work. Um, you know, it's not dependent on you and it's not even dependent, um, you know, on, on, you know, it, it's, it's something that works as long as you have internet connection and really you know you have the, your data on your computer you have your data on the external drive that's connected to your computer or is is on on another device maybe um, and and you're accessing it shared and then you also have your data on on in the cloud and so you're able to actually get that data and you're able to retrieve that and and, uh, you know, worst case scenario, you actually go out and you get your data from the cloud. And what we're talking about here, we're not just talking about just your files. We're talking about the entire configuration of the computer. So your operating system, all the programs that you have, all the settings, getting those all in there. Um, and, and this is something that, that definitely we're, we're actually working on. And we can actually, we've, we've, we have several um, individuals, home offices, and businesses um, that, that have this, this system in place where we're backing up their servers, we're backing up the other, other devices on their system. And, and so we can help we you with, with, with this also. With the backup, what, what we're looking at is having something that's not dependent on you and really what you need to protect against. You need to protect against a few things as far as failure. Um, you need to protect against hardware failure. Like maybe the hard drive actually goes bad. And in, in the case where the hard drive goes bad, as I mentioned, in a lot of cases, we can get your data back with, you know, but, but you know, it, it, uh, it does... It, not always. And when we can't get it back, we do have outside data recovery facilities that can get it back. But that costs quite a bit of money because they're actually taking your drive into a clean room. They're taking it apart. They're diagnosing it, figuring out what went wrong, and they're repairing it. Um, and, 
And if they're able to get your data back, uh, you know, you're going to pay, but you're going to pay. It's going to be quite a bit of money. Um, you know, when, when I say quite a bit of money, how much am I talking about? I'm talking about maybe 800 to $1,500. And, you know, you're looking at downtime as well. So, you know, you want to protect against hardware failure. You also want to protect against human error. What happens if you go out and you actually accidentally delete a file that you need? Or maybe we've had we've seen this happen before. I've made errors on files and I know many of our customers have done this and we've worked with them on on their files as well um, where maybe you accidentally highlight everything in the document and press a key and so you delete you replace everything in the document maybe it's a book maybe it's a chapter of a book maybe it's a a uh, school paper maybe it's it's something else that you know a presentation you're working working on a sales presentation or a bible study that you're going to be presenting we've helped uh, pastors and and bible study leaders you know sometimes on the day that there's they're giving a a, uh, a sermon delivering a sermon or a a uh, bible study uh, to retrieve to retrieve their data it, it, it's always you know it can be a little bit challenging when you're right in the midst of things and and things aren't aren't working and you can't you don't you don't see what what your data is and so but we are able to uh, you know you want to protect against human error and then there's also uh, it's situations where you might have sabotage where someone purposely damages your data maybe it's a um, you know an employee that you need to let go and uh, on their way out, they delete your data off of the server and they delete, they, they damage the backups as well. Well, that can actually happen. Um, we've seen it happen. And by the way, um, if you know you're going to, to uh, fire someone, you should uh, really, uh, we recommend talking to a computer expert ahead of time and making sure that they have no access to your data uh, before that actually happens and uh, we actually help customers with that and we can help you with that if you if you want to as well now um, you also some other things you want to protect against you also want to protect against your um, you know you, you, you want to protect against against um, uh, sabotage and and not just sabotage from from an, an employee or maybe someone else that gets mad at you but um, but you want to protect against against what's called ransomware and this is where your computer you're tricked into clicking on a link or opening an attachment um, or somehow hackers gain access to your system and they launch malicious code that starts encrypting the data on your computer well, it's important to, to back up. Uh, and really, one of the things they're going to do also is they're going to go after your backup as well because they have a much higher chance of getting money from you if they have your data. Um, and and, and they've, they've destroyed your backup as well. So, so uh, you know, if, if you no longer have access to your, to your data and you also no longer have access to your to your backup well that's something that that you know you'll want to you'll want to check out because we can actually help you with that and and you know we the these are things you want to protect and you want to protect against natural disaster also what happens if you have fire what happens if you have a flood uh, what happens if if uh, you know if, if there's theft you want to protect your data against these types of things. And you really want that to be not dependent on you doing something because really sometimes with the best of intentions, we don't always do what we need to do, what we know we need to do. And just about is not good enough. You're listening to a faster PC radio heard on this station every Saturday in the 10 o'clock hour. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back. For the final segment of today's show, listen, if you want to get your computer questions answered and you haven't called in, now is your opportunity. In fact, 
This is your last opportunity coming up. 772-340-1590. 772-340-1590. You can also head over to our Facebook page. And you can actually, from the Facebook page, you can type your computer questions into the comment section of the live video. And we'll cover them on today's show. But you know what? You've got to get over there right now or give us a call 772-340-1590 so we can answer your computer questions computer problems you need a faster pc a faster pc has been here and as florida begins to open for business the faster pc will remain open to repair computers nine to five monday through friday and nine to two saturdays we offer curbside drop off and pickup and on-site service where a faster pc can come to you and we can fix many computer problems remotely without requiring any in-person contact a faster pc is also working to help our customers set up remote access so that employees can continue to work and be productive from home computer problems you need a faster pc a faster pc is conveniently located at 7190 south us1 next to the new dollar general in port st Lucie, and on the web at that's www.afasterpc.com for more information call 878-5978 Again, that's 772-878-5978. Even in times like these, when you have computer problems, you need a faster PC. This is Brian Longworth, host of A Faster PC Radio, where we answer your computer questions for free every Saturday from 10 to 11 a.m. But it gets even better than that. Now, wait a minute. How could it possibly get any better than that? Yes, Cliff. A Faster PC has technicians standing by every Saturday ready to work on your computer. Wait a minute. Technicians standing by on a Saturday? Well, Cliff, A Faster PC has technicians standing by Monday through Friday for standard and emergency service, both in shop and on site. That means you can bring your computer to A Faster PC or A Faster Faster PC can come to you. And if you need computer service in a hurry, we offer emergency service both in shop and on site. We can handle anything from software installs, viruses, spyware to multi site VPN networking. Computer problems? You need a Faster PC. A Faster PC, conveniently located at 7186 South US 1, Port St. Lucie, and on the web at afasterpc.com. For more information, call 878 5978. 878 5978. Computer problems? You need a faster pc welcome back to a faster pc radio this is the last segment of today's show we'd love to answer your computer questions but if you don't call we can't answer give us a call the number to have your computer question answered is 772-340-1590 772-340-1590 or you can hop on over to our facebook page a faster PC and actually from there you can type your question into the comment section so again just a few more minutes to answer your questions we did want to remind you also that not only can you ask your questions at the Facebook page or by calling 772-340-1590 but you can also watch the video as well so some of the questions that I'm answering as I answer those questions, I'll be able actually to show you the steps that you go through to resolve computer problems. And if you're not where you can watch it right now, that's fine. You can watch it at your convenience shortly after the show's over. It'll be up there on our Facebook page. You can get there one of two ways. Either go to our website, afasterpc.com. We have a link that says listen to a faster PC radio. If you click on that, it'll take you to our Facebook page or go to Facebook and search for a faster PC. We also wanted to remind you that in the shop, we have technicians standing by today to work on computers and resolve computer problems. We're at 7190 South US 1, and our number in the office is 772-878-5978. And of course, we're here to answer your questions. Well, your computer questions, and you know, we could answer other questions, but we're here specifically to answer computer questions. Computer problems? You need a faster PC. Yes, you do. And we are back ready to answer your questions and ready to help you resolve your computer and technical issues as well. And this is, you know, we've been talking about backups and and really because we've we've seen 
quite a few issues. You know, we even saw one of the things we see sometimes is people uh, say, well, you know, my computer's getting a little bit sluggish, so I'm going to move my files off of my computer and move them to an external hard drive. And then we'll realize that that external hard drive, if you move your data off of your computer to the external hard drive, that's not a backup. External hard drives fail also. And in fact, they fail more often than internal hard drives. So you really don't want to have your, your data only in one place ever. You definitely don't want it to only be on an external hard drive. And if it is on an external hard drive, is that external hard drive encrypted? In other words, do you have to type a password to get access to that data? And if not, what prevents, if you lose that, that drive, what prevents someone else from accessing that drive and getting access to your data? Well, maybe, you know, you might say, well, it's not very important because all these are, are pictures and stuff like that. Of course, pictures are important. I'm not, uh, not saying that pictures aren't important. But pictures are important, but, but definitely, um, you know, one of the things that, that you want to look at is, is um, uh, you know, you don't want any sensitive financial information to get out there. You don't want to be releasing, uh, you know, anyone to get a hold of, uh, you know, maybe, maybe it's customer data, maybe it's uh, credit card information. Maybe it's a date of birth. Maybe it's social security numbers. Um, and speaking of protecting your data, um, you know, when we talk about protecting your data, we've been talking about backups and how you can make backups and how you how we can actually help you make uh, make backups and provide a backup system for you that doesn't depend on you doing anything. And it actually backs up so that you have the data in three locations. The original source, which is your computer, an external drive that's located locally at your location, and then also the cloud. You want your data to, to also be in a location other than your computer. And you know, if you're not you know, comfortable having your data in the cloud, well, we can work on some solutions there as well. But some of those solutions are probably going to require you doing something. And as we've talked about, that doesn't always happen. People don't always do, don't always follow through as well as they should because things get busy and you think, well, you know, I can do that tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and you say, I can get, oh, you know, I'm busy today. I'll do that the next day i'll do that the next day and and sometimes uh you know there's even a song about that a christian song about that you know i'll i'll give my life to jesus tomorrow and then you know tomorrow never comes and and you know it can be that way with with backing up your data well you know backing up your data doesn't have quite as as big of consequences as not giving your life to jesus but still some very major consequences you know for both individuals but also in addition to individuals think about what about what about um not only not only your individual data but let's say you have a business let's say you have a church let's say let's say this is a book that you're working on or a school project that you're working on or maybe this is critical data that you're that is required for your business to run so you really want to not only protect that from from damage in the ways that we've talked about from physical failure of of the component itself and you know sometimes we we've, we've talked about physical failure of the drive but on some computers the drive is actually soldered onto the motherboard so if you don't have a backup, the drive could actually physically be fine, but the motherboard bad, you're, you've lost your data if you have no backup. So, uh, you know, it, it's important to protect against hardware failure, whether that's the physical drive, whether that's, uh, you know, the, a motherboard that maybe the drive is on the motherboard, it's physically soldered to the motherboard uh, unmovable un, unchangeable um maybe maybe you you have a you know an external drive that 
it is dependent on a controller that's that's in the enclosure and that that controller fails by the way some of the external drive manufacturers including i'll name them western digital they build their external hard drives in such a way that without the controller on that card on, on that external enclosure you can't access the data um, with a seagate you can actually pull the drive out of the the, the enclosure like we did with a customer recently and we were able to retrieve a deleted partition and we were able to retrieve their data off of this this drive it wasn't easy it took took some time but we were able to retrieve to retrieve their data and and to get them up and running you know we've had we had a customer that brought us a western digital drive that external drive and we were able to get their data, but only because we actually had one of those same drives in our possession. And we actually took our drive apart and used our controller to access the data on his computer because we couldn't actually pull the drive out like we could with a Seagate and connect it to a regular computer. We had to actually use one of the Western Digital controllers. So you want to protect against hardware failure. You want to protect against sabotage. You want to protect against human error. You want to protect against ransomware. You want to protect against against um, uh, theft and fire. Um, and and you know you you want to know that this is protected even if you forget to do what you're what you're supposed to do uh, you know again most many data protection schemes are dependent on you doing something and that doesn't always happen so so we do have solutions now where we can back up the data and keep it safe um, without you having to change out drives without you having to run backups without you having to do certain things and this is something that that really is is uh you know something that that really can help protect your data you know i remember in the old days back when people used to back up businesses used to back up with tape drives so you actually had a a tape that was kind of like a cassette tape but it was it was shaped differently it was shorter and and uh n not as wide but it was it was thicker and uh it actually would data would be written to that tape drive and and the dr the tape itself was supposed to be rotated and we had a situation where a, a server was down and needed data needed to be recovered they had a bad drive in the server data needed to be recovered from the tape backup so we asked the employees when was the last time the tape backup was changed well it's, you know they they had a plan to change it every week every friday so the so the employee that's responsible for that said i just changed it friday so we go back to what they said was the you know because because the the tape that was in there didn't have any good good data so we go back to the what they said was the previous tape and lit back in those days it took hours and hours and hours to find out whether you know probably about two hours to find out whether what was on the tape and whether whether you could get something off of it and lo and behold it wasn't recent data i mean it it hadn't that tape hadn't been in that that system for three months or so i mean imagine losing three months of data and those types of things happen uh, when when your backup system is dependent on people doing something or clicking on something to actually launch the backup or there's no redundancy so if you have a ransomware attack um, and you know the 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 data is corrupted or you have human error where someone actually physically maybe I'm sure in in some cases it's on purpose but quite often it's not on purpose someone just makes a mistake and damages a, a file maybe deletes a file or or changes a file so that it has no data and then you run your backup and your backup replaces uh, th that that bad data file is then over overwrites your good uh, data file that's on your backup we've had customers even have problems with a file and before they called us in they made a backup and they overwrote the 
what what was on what was on the backup well so you want to actually have a system that will allow you to go back in time to yesterday or the day before or last week or the week before that or a month ago or two months ago or or you know because you don't know when this file was corrupted you don't know when the the error happened in the file you just have to get to a place where where that that doesn't exist also when you have ransomware from what we have found what we have seen when we have dealt with ransomware uh, typically your backup will also be encrypted in fact your most recent backup and even a week ago's backup quite often the data will be encrypted and I you know I know we we've talked about this we throw out these terms and and it's occurring to me maybe you don't even know what encryption means if you've ever been through a ransomware event you would know what encryption is it's where you go to open a file and the file can't open and you actually have a message that pops up on your desktop that tells you that all of your data is encrypted and and the people that encrypted it are demanding money to get your data back, to decrypt your data for you. And they will decrypt your data for you if you give them money and you send them, send them money. Well, that's not a very good solution. You know, you're looking at paying a criminal to, to give you your data back. It's like so, so, kind of like uh, someone steals your car and says, I'll give it back to you if you pay me $2,000. Um, you know, well, that's, that's not really a good, good thing to do to actually reward the, the criminal. And then you're trusting a criminal that encrypted your data to give you your data back. And you're also trusting them to not leave access to your computer for the future, which quite often they do. So, so that's what encryption is. It actually makes it so your data can't be open. And what are we talking about your data? We're talking about Word documents, Excel documents. We're talking about PowerPoint presentations. We're talking about pictures. We're talking about PDF documents. The last ransomware event that we went through, the, the ransomware actually encrypted program files. So you couldn't open up Edge. You couldn't open up Chrome. You couldn't open up Firefox. You couldn't open up Microsoft Outlook. So not only did it encrypt the files on the computer, it actually encrypted the program files as well. So you want to have protection against all of this. And we have a solution that doesn't depend on you, doesn't depend on your employees. And our number is 772 772- 878-5978, 772-878-5978. We can help you protect yourself. And we're coming to the end of today's show, but if you've missed any part of this show or just want to listen to it again or watch it again, because you can do that at our Facebook page and YouTube channel, you can not only hear the show, but also see the show. And when we described and shown you how to resolve computer problems, you can actually see that and watch it over and over again at our Facebook page or our YouTube channel. You can get there by going to our website at fasterpc.com and clicking on the links. We're open today until 2 p.m. Monday through Friday, we're open from 9 to 5. And next Saturday, we'll be open from 9 to 2. We want to invite you to listen to our church radio show tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. here on WPSL. The title to tomorrow's sermon is, We Will Never Forget 911 Unless the Lord Guard the City. You can listen to other sermons on our church website, CovenantTabernacle.com, or our church Facebook page, Covenant Tabernacle World Outreach. Center. You can find a Faster PC's Facebook page and YouTube channel by searching for a Faster PC on Facebook and YouTube or by going to our website and clicking on the links. While there, you can actually watch the show, not only hear the show, but also watch the show and see the steps that we go through to actually resolve computer problems. A Faster PC is conveniently located at 7190 South US-1 on the east side of US-1, just north of Rio Mar. We're also on the web at www.fasterpc.com. Again, that's a fasterpc.com. 
and you can reach us at 772-878-5978. Again, 772-878-5978. Computer problems? Don't you know by now you need a faster PC? We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Isn't it about time that we protect every human being in America, including the pre-born? Go to personhoodflorida.com today to sign the Human Life Protection Amendment to establish liberty and justice for all. Again, that's personhoodflorida.com. 772-878-5978. 